Hello everyone, welcome back to Lisa Loves Paper. I'm Elise, and with it being busy, busy, busy for me, I figured the best way for me to get some scrapping done for you guys to see a video was to do another kit catch up because I can make the layouts when I have time, and hopefully I can maybe film some of them and, and you can have some, um, some process videos too. So anyway, I pulled out the May 2022 Hip Kit Club and as per usual, if you're new to this, um, what a kit catch up is for me is I have a ton of kits, mostly hip kits, um, are what's left and they're, they're kind of taken over. And so I'm trying to power my way through them. Um, and what I do is first I walk you through the kit and show you what's in it, the pieces and parts. Then off camera, I go and I make a whole bunch of layouts with the kit with the goal of trying to feel like I've used it. I'm not trying to 100% it. I just want to make sure that I feel like I've, um, used what I'm going to use and I can say bye to the rest of it and regain some space in my craft room. And then at the end, I come back and I share what's left from the kit and what I made with you. Um, so without further ado, May 2022 kit. Oh, also for those of you, I, it is still the same desk, but I got a new desk pad. This is, it's covered up, but it's from scrapbook.com. Um, it's fairly new for them. It's a self-healing mat and I've wanted a white self-healing mat for a very long time. Um, so we're going to try it out and see how it works for the videos too. Anyway, sorry, already tangenting. Um, let's go through the papers first. As I go through the papers, I'll show you both sides. Um, if it's not a hip kit exclusive, I'll try and tell you what it is, even though this is probably old enough that you can't get it anymore. Um, and I like to leave my favorite side face up so that when I am going through the kit later, I don't have to keep flipping back and forth um, to see the sides that I feel like I'm most likely to use. Anyway, so there's this one. It's a wreath paper. I've talked before how I find those difficult. I can use them, but they're not my favorites. Ooh, cut apart side. I like this side. I'll definitely use these bits. I love cut aparts for layering. Mm. Ooh, I love this one. I love any kind of like text and especially if it's like handwritten and the white or the black on the white and it has a subtle grid in the background. I love this side. I haven't even looked at the other side. Oh, I like this one too. I do. Oh, that's tough, but I love this side. Oh, okay. This one with frames. Can anybody tell me what you think the purpose of these pages are do you think they're meant to be cut aparts and like to use these bits or are they meant to be backgrounds and you put things in I don't I'm always perplexed by them I might try and challenge myself to use it in some sort of way we'll see and then there's this side yeah even though I'm perplexed I do like this side. I wonder if you could use it on top of this and put things like journaling and embellishments Mmm, maybe, maybe. Stay tuned. <laughs> this is a floral. It's a very painterly, dainty floral. Kind of watercolory. To me, this would make a better layering piece because the, the pattern is so small and repetitive that I think it stands out so much. Oh, but I like this, the yellow. Yep, like that. This one, it looks so far like they're all hip kit exclusive. So I'm pretty sure they don't have this left anymore. I really like this side. I love a good gray and white paper and I love a good ledger. Why do they keep pairing the two that I like? <laughs> oh, so pretty. I don't like orange as much and I have a lot of ledger paper. So maybe the floral. Here's another floral, another orange. Oh, the pink polka dot. I like this. Woo, flutterbys. I always love a good butterfly paper. Love it. Oh, and I like that side too. Mmm. Mmm. This one feels more usable, even though I like the flutterbys. I don't know. Maybe I can finagle it so I can use both. Another floral. This one's a much larger scale. Still very painterly. I do like this one more. Oh, <laughs> doesn't matter. Love this one. Love this one. Oh. oh, this one's pretty. 
it's very pointy. I have a hard time with very pointy patterns, but I like the kind of like soft rainbow effect of it. This side's nice too. Mmm. Mmm. Tricky. And then this one. This is a floral. It's more like sketchy looking. And I like this one for layering. So that's all the papers. We have a set of Pink Fresh Letters from the Life Right Now collection. They're serif. I tend to prefer sans serif, um, but they're a very usable color, so I'm sure I'll get use out of those. Um, wood veneer shapes. They're very thick. I don't know if you can see. Very thick. But I like them. It's always frames, and I... I this is gonna be tricky because I find it's easier for me to use frames when I can cut them and tuck them behind photos and these I cannot easily cut because they are so thick. So, hmm, these are gonna be a challenge. We'll see, maybe I'll paint some. Um, these butterfly fabric die cuts, it looks like it's the same butterfly a whole bunch of times, 20, 28 of them but they're fabric, so I wonder if I could like, yeah, it's the same butterfly. Hmm, mm hmm, this is a perplexing kit. And then this is their die cut set. Let's see what they have in it. If you can see. There's some usable pieces. There's that rainbow tag, some big words, these like little cloudy bits. I don't know why they keep putting a lot of tea stuff in there. They must be tea drink. I'm not a tea drinker. Are you a tea drinker? I know a lot of people are either tea or coffee. And I'm not a big drinker of either. I always have a cup of coffee every morning, but not throughout the day. So it's just not a big part of my day. Um, mm, more cupcakes. Interesting. So anyway, that's been going on long enough. That is the kit, so now I'm gonna go off camera and make some layouts with it, and I'll come back and share with you what I made and what I have left. See you soon. Hey, I'm back. It's been just a few days, and as you can see, there's not much of the kit left. So as per usual, I will go through all this and show you what I have left, what I'm gonna keep, what I'll put in my, and keep, keep and put in my stash, what I'll de-stash, and so on and so forth, and then I will share all of the layouts that I made. Um, and yes, you'll notice that <laughs> my mat is no longer beautiful and white. Um, there's a layout that I'll show you that has a forthcoming process video, which will explain this. Um, and it makes me a little bit sad because I tried to clean this. Uh, if you have any ideas, let me know. It's watercolor. Um, but for now, it is what it is. <laughs> You're not seeing things. It is discolored. So without further ado, let's go through, let's do the paper first, because um, I tend to use most of that. The biggest pieces I have left are these three. Um, those are the backs of them. I will definitely keep these three and put them in my stash because they're nice um, layering pieces. And then all the rest of this is just little tiny scraps. Um, and I probably won't keep most of it. I like this pattern. I will probably keep this, but the rest of it just doesn't seem big enough in colors and patterns that I would um, use. So this will go in recycling. I think that's amazing that I use so much. Okay. Now for the letters, I used a decent amount and this is a good color. I use teal a lot, so I will definitely put this in my stash. Um, these, I used every single one of them. There were 28 of the butterflies. You'll see why um, and how I was able to in a little bit. So that's exciting. That goes in the trash and recycling. This, I used a lot more of the wood veneer than I expected to. I used a whole bunch of the frames. Um, and I will probably keep and try and use these things. Um, the flowery pieces, I don't know as much if I'll be able to, but I do like some of these, so I will probably put those in my stash and try and use them soon. Um, and then here we are with the die cuts. So I really didn't use too many of these. Um, 
And I'll be honest with you, I, I might have mentioned this in my last one that I did cancel my subscription to the Hip Kit, Hip Kit Club. Um, and one of the reasons was because they went more towards exclusive things and they had fewer and fewer actual like collections in there. But the other big reason for me was their ephemera that they always included. I feel like I ended up not being able to ever use most of it. It just didn't quite work for me. And you can tell that that's what happened here. Um, there are a few pieces that I'll probably keep. I'll keep all of the little cupcakes to put with my birthday stuff. This little nice generic piece, I'll keep that. I might keep this frame. Um, this is technically a piece of trash. Um, relax and have fun. I might use that. There's a couple pieces I'll keep. Weekend gathering. But overall, like I told you guys, I don't drink tea. So these pieces didn't make any sense to me. And they're like a weirdly different... Uh, style with the black outline on them and the doodly style from the rest of it. Um, the tea and coffee squad, not my thing. This weird little friends are always there for you. For some reason it reminds me of like a sign that would be outside of a psychic shop or something. I just couldn't get past that and use it. Um, I like the style of this. It looks very pink fresh to me, but again, it like... I don't know it just didn't fit any of the layouts a lot of them were very direct um so anyway i did not use a ton of those i will go through it and keep just a handful of these things um but not most of them probably i will de-stash them okay now on to the most exciting part i made let's see one two three four, five, six layouts. So that's respectable. Um, and I'm very happy with how they turned out. And as per usual, my, um, I will show them to you in the order that I made them. So you can see what I made when I had like almost a full kit versus when I was at the very end of it. And then also keep in mind that I do pull from my stash um, for these and I did that a lot in this kit more than I have in some of the more recent ones So this one you should know because I did make a process video So if you haven't seen the process video and you want to see me make it that it should be the previous video on my channel um, I do have faces and details covered up for privacy um, This one ended up pretty busy But I do like it it feels right like busy in the right way okay and this one so i told you guys in the last one that we adopted a kitten and so i had to make a layout so my daughter took this photo and i absolutely love it this is the wall color in her room and it matched the letters perfectly um and i did scrap lift this layout from um one of the more recent live streams that uh tracy at mercy tiara had done for her Tiara's, um, hers was not exactly like this. She had kind of a gallery wall of labels over here and she did have some torn strips on this edge, I believe, but this is kind of my play on it. I love, love, love this. I love the torn strips. I love these, the way these patterns play together, like these more like colorful ones versus this gray geometric piece. Um, I love the balance of this and this. I love all the frames. This is how I was able to use so much of that. Um, wood veneer and I did bring in some pieces from my stash so these hearts were all from my stash my wood veneer stash as are these stickers this is from a very old hip kit that I had as well as this one right here um and this I pulled from my stash as well um but I love this one might have been one of my favorites from this whole kit Lots of stash used up too, because like this and this were stash, these stickers were stash. That's that one. This one, I really like. So I told you I really liked both sides of this one. It's the that floral. And so this is how I dealt with it. I kept the ledger and then I kind of shifted this piece on top of it. I love these black, these like they're not Dalmatians, they're just kind of this irregular spot. I feel like they add a lot of energy, but because they're white with little black, it doesn't take the attention. Um, and I kind of made it look like it was just laid on top of there. 
This is my son at field day and he was doing the soccer ball kick and I managed to capture that shot. Um, and I love his form here. I just love it. Love, love, love it. I had put this, this is one of those strips that you cut off the bottom, the manufacturing strips, and I tore it to make it look like a piece of washi holding that on there. A lot, a lot of stash here. This was from the stash. I never knew how I'd be able to use that and I was able to use it here. Um, this was from my stash. Most of this is from the stash. <laughs> But I will say, like, the back pieces, this is one of the frames from the papers in this kit. This tag is from the kit. Um, of course, these words are really like this. Now, there's this one. I had this paper. What's the back of it? Oh, it's this that was used here. Um, and I, I think when I was going through it, I told you I really liked both sides. So this is how I made it work as well. I had torn off the edge there. And then when I laid this down over to my side, it was on top of this floral. And I was like, oh, I really like the way that plays together. And then I found this, this yellow strip is another paper from the kit that I just put there just to give it a little border. Um, and I like how it turned out. Of course, I layer, layer, layered. Um, lots of pieces, wonky. I included the um, these like swirly cloud things from the ephemera kit. Oops. These are from my stash. I had I didn't have enough ease, so I used threes. <laughs> uh, I just but because this one had kind of a busy background, I kept the embellishments simple and bold where I could. Um, so that's that one. And then this is the one I was telling you about. There will be a process video coming out in case you're curious how I did this, but I used all of these and I splattered them with watercolor. So I love, I had this idea of like a plain white background with these beautiful colorful butterflies. I had to go and find a photo that I felt really went with it. I don't usually do black and white photos, but this felt like it needed it because we have the color here, but then the white background. So a black and white photo really worked and I kept the embellishments really simple. Um, la la. I love that phrase. I might've already used it for a title, but I don't care because I really do love it. And again, I kept the embellishments pretty simple. I need to find more clear stickers with black text because I have used so many of them on these layouts. They're just so useful and versatile. Mm, this one might be tied with that, the layout of my kitty cat as my favorites for this. And my last one. So I knew, again, I have black and white photos and this is what I had left. I was working with these kinds of papers and I did go on Pinterest because sometimes I just need an idea um, to scrap lift and I had found one that had paper and the paper theirs went like here and then here and they went all the way to the edge and so I kind of put my own spin on it um, and just cut random paper strips and some of them leave gaps and stuff and the embellishments all kind of follow along with that but they're in the colors. I did bring in teal with some of the embellishments. Um, so I could use those letters, but most of them are pink and yellow and some black and white to bring in this like a little bit of black and white and the black and white in the title. Um, and all in all, I really like how this one turned out too. I really gravitate toward this light and bright feeling layout style. So here's some close ups. So you can see I did go through my stash to pull most of these embellishments and it was so helpful having the um, binders by color. So that's that. I did six layouts. Let me know what you think. What's your favorite? Would you try any of these? You are always welcome to scrap lift me. And that's that. So thanks for tuning in. Hopefully I'll have another one of these for you soon. Bye.